Hello and welcome to another microsurgical under tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Ali Nesse, and I have a quick tutorial for you with two follow-up cases of non-surgical root canal treated teeth using the endosequence by ceramic sealer. The first one is a tooth number 20. Uh, the patient uh, presented with a large periapical lesion, a teardrop shaped lesion with a sinus tract. There was no probing around this tooth and usually you see a teardrop shaped lesion in teeth that there is a high likelihood of a root fracture. However, the absence of any deep probing in the area was a good sign and we decided that we're going to take uh, uh, the chance and trying to save this tooth with non-surgical conventional root canal therapy using the endosequence technique and it's very important at this time to always communicate with the patient that when we have a larger size lesion of this size there is a, about a 15 percent uh, likelihood that a periapical surgery might be needed at some po point down the line as well. This has been demonstrated by studies and uh, teeth that have periapical radiolucencies, uh, especially the larger they get, there is a higher incidence of a requirement for periapical surgery. So it's very important to communicate that with your patients ahead of time. In this particular case, uh, this is the file shot. Patency was obtained. In this particular uh, radiograph, I'm uh, deliberately about a millimeter short of the apex. I try to instrument these cases all the way to the radiographic terminus and make sure that I always have patency. However, I don't find it necessary to always fill all the way to the end because in many of such cases when you go in there later on to do a periapical surgery if it is required, you will find out that although radiographically you have filled to the radiographic terminus, in reality they, you actually have overfilled these cases. Anyway, so this is the file shot. Then. This is the shot immediately after uh, squirting the sealer into the canal with the bioceramic sealer syringe and then placing a size 55 uh, endosequence 04 taper cone through it. Then we sear off right at the orifice and we condense down. And this is the immediate post-op follow-up. There is a little bit of a... Um, um, of a puff of bioceramic sealer, but I'm not worried about that. It actually confirms that we do have patency, and um, the bridge is not really that great. I think there's a, this is a high contrast image, so oftentimes you end up seeing a little bit of a black line around uh, restorations and middle fillings, but I do suspect that there is a little bit of an open margin here in this tooth. This has to be communicated to the patient because if this is not addressed in the long run, the endo will fail again due to uh, micro leakage. And here is a nine month recall of the same case. And we can see that there is a, a, lot, a lot of healing in this area. And it's very promising.